St. Vincent and the Grenadines will join the international community on Tuesday, February 4th. That's today in the observance of World Cancer Day. World Cancer Day 2014 is being held under the theme, Debunk the Myths. This theme was chosen to build on the success of last year's campaign by again focusing on Target 5 of the World Cancer Declaration, Dispel Damaging Myths and Misconceptions About Cancer. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, according to Dr. Rosamond Adams, focal point on non-communicable diseases in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. The myths surrounding cancer create a hindrance in the battle to decrease the number of cases of cancer and the number of people who die from it each year. For example, many people believe that cancer care is only for the rich, and while cancer treatments tend to be a bit costly, the Ministry of Health has recognized that it has an important role to play in providing drugs and chemotherapy to cancer patients, ensuring that everyone has a right to cancer care. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment encourages women to do their pap smears and mammograms and men to do their prostate cancer screening. The New Democratic Party continues to consume themselves in their latest success of having the decision to raise the fuel surcharge reversed by the board of Vinlec. The Honorable Anim Eustace yesterday morning on the New Times program said the New Democratic Party could not sit back and allow Vinlec to raise the fuel surcharge rate by seven cents. Hence their proposal of having Vinlec use their insurance fund to ease the pressure on Vincentians considering the nation is dealing with a stagnant economy. He disclosed that over the last couple of years, the fuel surcharge has increased considerably, detailing the following. The average amount of fuel surcharge in 2006 was $597, 2008, $885, 2013, $912, and this year, $1,031. The opposition, opposition leader sorry, said if the seven-cent increase were implemented, domestic consumers, commercial consumers, and industrial consumers will be paying out some $8.8 .8 million. The National Parks, Rivers and Beaches Authority, in collaboration with the Nature Conservancy, hosted the first national consultation for the Eastern Caribbean Marine Managed Areas Network, or ECMAN, project here today. The four-year project is funded by the International Climate Initiative via the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature, Conservation and Nuclear Safety and involves six OECS countries. Speaking at the opening of the consultation this morning, Dr. Sherry Constantine of the Nature Conservancy outlined some of the objectives and benefits of the Ekman project. Director of National Parks, Rivers and Beaches Authority Andrew Wilson during his feature address said the journey continued today with local stakeholders at the country level to deepen awareness about the project. Speaking at the 20th Annual Convention of the Unity Labour Party, ULP, Party Chairman Edwin Snag suggested that there could be snap elections as the ULP seeks a fourth consecutive term in office. According to Canon News Online, Snag said that while traditionally a race begins with on your mark, get set, go, ULP supporters could hear on your marks, go. But Dr. Gonsab's Prime Minister and party leader gave only the on your marks order as he addressed the convention at the Camden Park Secondary School. The online release from Canna says Dr. Gonsab spoke about his party's accomplishments since coming to office in 2001 and its vision for fourth term, but also spent much of his two-hour address saying why he thinks the main opposition New Democratic Party, the NDP, which holds seven of the 15 seats in Parliament, was not fit to govern the country. We'll be right back with more local stories.